If you manage a lot of Google business profiles, you might be looking into utilizing the Google agency dashboard. This isn't just specifically for marketing agencies. It can really be utilized by anybody that just manages a lot of listings and is looking for a more streamlined way to do that. Now, before you sign up, something you wanna make sure you do is look into the differences, which I'm gonna highlight for you. So to sign up, you access the link here. And something that's important to know is that you do need a domain level email. So what I mean by that is you can't use a Gmail to sign up. You need to have an email address that matches the domain of your company or your agency. And once you do that, Google also requires that you have no listings in that account. So if you've already managed a bunch of listings using that email, you're gonna have to actually empty your account first before you can sign up for this dashboard. Now, when you do sign up, one of the major things that's gonna change is when you get access to listings, it works a little differently. So typically, when somebody adds you to a listing, they would normally add your email address. That will stop working once you use the agency dashboard. And if they attempt to add you using an an email address, they'll actually get an error like shown here. So they actually need to add, um, depending on what they're adding you to, an ID number. So if it's a single listing that they're adding you to, you actually need to give them your location ID number. If it's a group of listings, also called a location group, they need to add your organization ID number and you can find that as pictured here. Another thing that you can do is you can actually request access to listings. So this is something that's really cool about the agency dashboard that you can't do normally. Something to keep in mind, you cannot add a service area business this way. So if you're trying to get access to a service area business, you need them to actually add you. Now, some, why would you want to switch to the agency dashboard? There's a couple things that I found that are better. First, it's faster, so it's easier to find things um, and, and locate different listings in your account. The second thing is that it is easier to keep listings organized. So let's say, for example, you have certain staff that you don't want to have access to certain listings. You can do that using the agency dashboard and you can limit access to certain groups. One of the downsides is that you don't get email alerts anymore for changes to the listing or review notifications. So if you're typically used to seeing those in your email, when you make this switch, you will stop getting them. That being said, we have found a workaround, a way to get these alerts back. So check out this link here and it will show you the tips on how to go ahead and do that. If you have questions about the agency dashboard or just general comments about it, please leave us a comment below. Also make sure you like and subscribe to our channel.